PCR Wednesday brought to you in immense pain. And so begins, begins our odyssey, and we begin, begin our odyssey, and so begins... Hey girls, so I'm sick too. I don't know what it is, but we all manage to get sick at exactly the same time. So just like Sarah, I have my cup of tea and I am going to push forward with this review. Also like Sarah, it's my second last week of uni. So I've got this week and then next week and then I'm done. Sarah and I do almost exactly the same degree. So the fact that we're both graduating at the same time, um, it's just... yeah. Liv, good luck with your exams. I completely understand the stress you're going through. If it helps, I did the exams on my birthday. So the first day of the exams was my birthday and for it I got an English exam paper. Yay! This week's musician is my personal hero, Shakira. I've said it before and I'll say it again, Shakira gives humble-breasted short girls like me something to live for. She's my mainstream guilty pleasure. I can't help it, I love her, all her songs are awesome, except the one that she did with Beyonce, that was just shit. Little known fact about Shakira is that she didn't start off mainstream. Her first two albums were commercial failures because they were so overproduced and they really wanted to turn her into the Spanish Britney Spears. And she didn't like that, the people didn't like that, so she went off on her own and wrote her own brand and style of music and when she came through with that, it was a huge hit in Latin America and Spain. If we've got any Spanish viewers out there, you'll understand that her lyrics are very poetic. She's an incredible storyteller, she's a poet in the way that she writes, and sometimes I think that doesn't quite translate when you get the English versions. The disparity between her English work and her Spanish work is incredible. I mean, sometimes you listen to some of her songs and you're left going, oh my god. And other songs you know were just made for commercial success. That being said, most of them are deeply personal and they're songs that every girl can identify with. Most of them tell us that Shakira got dumped at some stage by a guy who left her for a girl that was kind of better. And really, that doesn't sit well with anyone. I'm, we've all been down that road. I know I have been down that road and it's not nice and when you hear the songs you're like oh I understand yay for uncomfortable confessions so the first song I want to look at is one of her Spanish songs here you go guys I don't know about you guys, but when I first saw that clip, I tried to dance on my table for weeks. Even if you guys don't speak Spanish, you can have a sort of appreciation for the song itself. This isn't like the time that everyone got into Daddy Yankee and didn't quite know what gasolina meant. If you guys don't understand Spanish, I will put a link to the translation in the sidebar. The lyrics are amazing. Like, seriously, if you ever want to get back at an ex, do it like that. The next song is a lot slower, it's one of her English songs and I have never ever quite been able to get over how good it is. It's called Illegal and it features Carlos Santana. You don't even know the meaning of the words I'm sorry You said you would love me until you die As far as I know you're still I love that song, it's that brilliant wordplay and that idea of when you're still feeling those feelings and it's still so close to you and yet the person's a million miles away. So now that I've sufficiently creeped everyone out, I'm going to ask you this week's question. 1. What's your guilty musical pleasure? 2. Foreign language crossover songs, yes or no? 3. Are Sarah and I living parallel lives? Thanks for letting me rant about Shakira. I'll see you next week guys. Bye!